Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So after I posted the last video answering questions about studying in Switzerland, I got quite a few DMs and questions on my Instagram asking more questions. So I thought I will be answering them in this video, um, the most common questions that I get asked. So let's start. Okay, the first and most common question that I get asked is what university offers a full degree in English? So, hospitality schools, there are a lot of hospitality schools in Switzerland, for example, La Roche being the most famous one, I think, <laughs> offering, um, you know, bachelors in hotel management and hospitality. And I'm sure there's a lot more because Switzerland is famous for their hospitality schools, but I didn't do it any research into that actually because I wasn't interested in that and I was interested more in business and management. Um, for business schools, there are a lot of private schools. For example, the EU business school always did panels in my high school like during the university fairs um, and I'm sure they have a campus in Switzerland as well and I'm sure there are other like public universities. I remember a few that came to my high school but I don't remember them specifically so if you're interested in that you can do research into that but I was more interested in the public universities like for example University of Zurich, ETH, St. Gallen, Bern, Geneva, those ones. I know for a fact that University of Zurich, ETH and Geneva offer courses in English whether they're like short courses or specific courses within for a degree but as far as I'm concerned they don't have a full like bachelor's that you could complete fully in English so correct me if I'm wrong but that is from what I've researched what I understood from it um, the only public university where you can do a full bachelor's degree um, in English is the University of St. Gallen where there are three majors that you can choose from which is the bachelor's of business and administration, economics and international affairs. However, you will have to take 12 credits in German which is actually not that big of a problem because in the English track it is very normal not to speak fluent German and so you can choose like computer science or um, math to do it in German where not too much German it's required and the textbooks are in English anyway so you'll be completely fine and everything else is in English and all club activities are in English as well so I think it is very convenient for you know international students but I definitely say the private schools are much more like catered for international students and you know have a lot more like global universities yeah so next is what am I studying? As I've said previously, I study um, at the University of St. Gallen or Haeske and I just finished the first year which is called um, the assessment year and next semester I'll be studying business administration. Um, next, do universities here offer a language year? Because I know that some universities in Germany um, have like a one year language year where you can learn German and then start with your bachelor's at Heisgeld, there is no language here and as far as I'm concerned, all public universities in Switzerland also don't offer a language here so if you want to study there, you would have to learn German or French on your own first before applying Next is, how important is it to know German to study in Switzerland or live in Switzerland? and my answer is, for me, like being a university student, knowing German isn't too important because in the English track, you know, there are students from the French side of Switzerland, from the Italian side of Switzerland, from all over Switzerland, from Europe. So speaking English is very common. Everybody speaks English. I speak English to my friends. All club activities are in English. So you don't really need German except for maybe if you want to order a coffee or order some pastries at the Mensa. You can learn a few phrases like Milch Café or Schoki Kipfli or whatever it is or you can point. So it is not a big deal if you don't speak German. In restaurants and stuff, most people speak English and in the occasions where they don't speak English, you can just point at what you want or you can learn a few phrases. So yeah, it is totally fine if you don't speak German. I just want to add that it is still nice to know German and it is definitely more convenient to know a little bit of German so maybe consider learning it but you definitely don't have to be fluent. Next is how important is Swiss German? 
My answer is, it is not important. <laughs> Swiss German is just a dialect spoken in Switzerland and each canton has a slightly has a different dialect, like in Sangalan, they speak the Sangalan dialect, but you don't really need it <laughs> because as I said, in uni, we speak English and you know, in the city for just daily life, use English. If not, just learn a few phrases in German and you'll be completely fine because everybody who speaks Swiss German also speak High German. Next, a very common question is apartment hunting because Public universities don't offer any accommodation or dormitories or student housing. So, um, the most common way to find a flat is through Facebook groups in your respective cities. For example, in Sangalan, there's a Facebook group called Sharing is Caring, um, where you can find furnished whole apartments, unfurnished apartments, rooms in a share apartment, which is probably the most common one. Or if not, you can, um, find it on like websites. For example, I know a friend who found her um, unfurnished apartment on Flatfox and then she like found her roommates on the Facebook group Sharing is Caring where they didn't like furnish it together. So there's options for that, like what you want if you want to furnish it on your own or live in an already furnished apartment. Um, I would say it is a whole like process, like it is kind of difficult because there is a lot of competition. But my biggest advice is just to be motivated like show how motivated and interested you and interested you are in their apartment and if like the person who's renting it knows that you really want it the chances that they will rent it to you is higher this is from my experience finding like a shared apartment to live in next is do you work while studying the answer is no i don't um in the first year i really wanted to focus on my studies first i do plan to work later on so if that day comes, I will share it with you guys. Although I have a Swiss passport, so I won't be able to answer questions like how do you work on a student visa, for example, because I also don't know. Next is friends and the society because I get questions like is it diverse there? Is it hard finding friends being international student? And my answer is because in the English track, there are students from everywhere and we all speak English anyway. So finding friends isn't difficult. But it also depends on your, like, your personality, whether you're an introvert or extrovert, because I am super introverted. So it took me some time to find like my group of friends, but I'd say I really like my group of friends and they're great. Next, um, diversity. In the first week of university, when I got there, I called my mom and friends and told them like, there is absolutely no diversity in this university. Everybody is Swiss. And now I kind of changed my mind about it because most people are Swiss and the rest are kind of European. It is very hard to find like, for example, an Asian student who studied, who, you know, came from Asia specifically to high school. But I'd say that there are students from all over Switzerland, you know, some who lived in the French speaking part, the Italian speaking part, the Swiss German speaking part, some who lived in like big cities, on mountains. There's a lot of halfies as well who are half something. So I'd say it is diverse in the sense that everybody is from a different background. And it's not like everybody who studies at Haiske is from Sangalan. That is definitely not true. So there's a lot of diversity in the sense that there's people from all over Europe and Switzerland. But I wouldn't say there is diversity in the global sense that, you know, there are students from all over the world, from every single continent coming to study here. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say it's diverse in that sense, but definitely in the sense that, you know, everybody has a different background and it is definitely not hard to, you know, find friends and blend in. Yes, so I think that was all the questions I wanted to answer. Thank you so much for watching until the end. If you have any more questions about studying in Switzerland, you can leave them in the comments below or send me a DM. I will do another video about um, studying at the University of St. Gallen or Haiske specifically. So if you have any specific questions about Haiske, also leave them in the comment section below and I will answer them in my next video. Um, and yeah, don't forget to press like if you found this video helpful, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!